guys, it's Ritaka Mary and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again guys with another review video. Ay, nakita nyo naman sa title. Finally, finally guys, mabibigay ko na yung aking full review or final thoughts about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Alam naman natin lahat recently sunod-sunod naglabasan yung mga flagship smartphones. That's why it's been very hard for us, lalo na sa inyo, na mamili ko ano nga ba yung dapat nyong bilhin. Well, at least... Sa panahon na to guys, mas marami tayong oras para mamili ng smartphones. Well, etong mga tech reviewers na to, isama nyo na ako. We still have smartphones to review, to unbox, and phones to compare. Kaya syempre, as consumers, ito na yung perfect time para mapag-isipan nyo ng maigi kung ano nga ba talaga yung swak na smartphone sa budget nyo at sa pangangailangan nyo. Anyway, proceed to tayo sa focus ng video. So, this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. It's been almost a month. Salamat po pala sa lahat ng nanood ng unboxing and hands-on video natin itong Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Also, maraming foreigners or people from other countries ang hindi naintindihan yung video ko, thank you pa rin. We all know naman guys na ang mga smartphones ngayon or even smartphones na nilabas the past few years, pare-parehas lang ang itsura. Either flat display or curved display with buttons on the side. But what really impresses me guys is itong specific brand na to, itong Samsung, lagi talaga silang nangunguna when it comes to producing folding phones. Well, we all know meron din ang Huawei pero nangunguna talaga ang Samsung. Feeling ko one reason guys kung bakit naging sobrang hype itong Galaxy Z Flip dahil ito yung klase ng folding device ang pinakamalapit doon sa mga folding devices na meron tayo in the past. Pero, is it really worth the expensive price tag? Imagine nyo na lang this specific folding device is worth 80,000 pesos. With that price, makakabili ka na ng laptop, makakabili ka na rin ng washing machine, ng TV, and this is why guys, I am doing a full review on this Samsung Galaxy Z Flip para malaman natin. Para sa akin guys, ang most impressive part dito sa Samsung Galaxy Z Flip is yung kanyang display. Actually guys, the display and the folding factor halos same lang sa Samsung Galaxy Fold. And according to Samsung during their launch, it also has small bristles, parang toothbrush ganon, doon sa pinaka-hinge niya to protect it from mga dust, alikabok, ganyan. Dust, alikabok, I think parehas lang yun. But anyway, for the design, okay sa akin, pero hindi naman ako super duper impressed. Actually, may golden, pero I don't think magiging available siya here sa atin sa Philippines or even sa US. Anyway, on the right side of the phone, nandun yung ating volume rocker and the power and lock button and also ito rin yung ating fingerprint sensor. Meron din tayong SIM slot sa pinaka upper left corner ng phone. And then sa ilalim, meron din tayong down firing speaker, microphone, and a USB Type-C port. And the design at the back guys, consistent to parehas reflective. But, but guys, ito ha, my biggest problem with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, ang bilis-bilis niyang madumihan. Kahit na hindi palaging pasmado yung gumagamit, I swear to you guys, Lagi talaga siyang madulumihan kahit na may case. And for the display, syempre medyo makapal yung ating side bezels to protect the display. Pero hindi talaga siyang maiwasan na pasukan ng mga maliliit na alikabok. Kaya ako mayat maya naglilinas every time na tatapusin or matatapos kong gamitin itong Z Flip. Just making sure guys na tatagal itong Samsung Galaxy Z Flip sa akin. Para sa akin, overall guys, the design is actually really cool. Although sa umpisa medyo mahirap lang siyang... Alam niyo na, buksan ng isang kamay. Pero kapag nasanay ka na at alam niyo yun, araw-araw mong ginagamit yung smartphone, mas madali na siyang buksan ng isang kamay lang. We have a 6.7 inches Full HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED Display with 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Grabe, ang tangkad talaga ng phone na to. And lastly, we have, we have 2,636 by 1080 pixels resolution with 425 ppi. And yes, may punch hole tayo sa pinaka ibabaw na nasa gitna. The problem with the display guys is hindi siya ganun ka bright compared to other flagship phones na nakasabay niyang lumabas like the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra. And katulad din ng fold guys, meron din siyang crease sa pinaka gitna. Mararamdaman mo kapag dinaan mo yung kamay mo at makikita mo rin kapag nilagyan mo or pag iba-ibang angle ng phone. 
Another problem with the display, guys, is kahit na made of glass nga siya, it is still prone to scratches. Kaya nga, kapag meron akong mahabang kuko, as much as possible, ayoko tong gamitin. And then yung kanyang outside display, we have 1.1 inch Super AMOLED display with 300 by 112 pixels resolution. Tong display na to guys, makikita natin yung ating notifications. Makikita rin natin kung sino yung tumatawag sa atin. Pwede rin natin sagutan yung tawag or i-end yung call doon sa pinaka display sa labas. Pwede rin natin i-control yung music. Plus, pwede rin tayong mag-take ng selfies using that display. Okay naman yung kanyang cover display. Natutuwa ako kasi nakikita natin yung notification sa kanya. Actually, yun naman talaga yung main purpose nun. Sana lang mas maraming customizations pa. Actually, I'm looking forward sa Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 2 if ever man na meron. Or kahit software update lang wherein pwede natin palitan yung colors or even clock styles, yung mga ganong bagay. It runs on the latest One UI 2.1 based on Android 10. Para sa akin guys, overall yung kanyang user interface, wala akong naging problema. It is smooth, fluid, although if we were to compare it sa mga smartphones like flagship devices na mayroong 120Hz, 90Hz screen refresh rate, syempre, ibang usapan na yun. What I also like about the software guys is pwede tayong mamili when it comes sa kanyang app drawer kung gusto natin siyang gawing chronological order, kung kailan natin dinownload Hule yung app, dun din siya mapupunta. Or, pwede natin siyang gawin alphabetically. To other devices, hindi natin yun pwedeng gawin. Gusto ko rin guys yung kanyang split view wherein pwede natin pagsabayan yung dalawang applications. Very easy to multitask. And meron din tayong tinatawag na flex mode. Ito, hindi lahat ng applications sinusuportahan to. Pero we have applications like Google Duo. Pwede rin natin siyang magawa sa camera app and sa gallery app. And to those people guys na nagtatanong kung pwede bang iset itong Samsung Galaxy Z Flip into a way na for example may tumawag at gusto mong ibaba yung call by just flipping it yes, pwede natin yung gawin sa settings ang Samsung Galaxy Z Flip it is powered by the Snapdragon 855 Plus with the Adreno 640 GPU with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage again, hindi po expandable storage itong Samsung Galaxy Z Flip so hanggang 256 lang talaga tayo honestly guys, wala akong problema sa performance ng Samsung Galaxy Z Flip it is smooth and wala ring stutters or lag so yes, Snapdragon 855 Plus is still okay but kung ako tatanungin nyo at pinapili nyo ako ng smartphone for gaming obviously labas ang Z Flip dito. Well, again, performance wise, wala akong problema sa device na to. Pero syempre, may mga ibang smartphones naman akong pwedeng pilihin with higher refresh rate, bigger display, at mas okay at mas suited sa mga gamers. For the battery capacity, it has 3,300 mAh. Honestly, guys, when I got this device, I wasn't expecting na tatagal to ng isang araw sa akin. But, impressively, tumagal naman siya for almost a day. It also supports Qi wireless charging, also supports reverse power sharing. The Z Flip, guys, it only supports 15 watt fast charging. Ibigyan ko yun ng halimbawa sa charging test natin, naka 60% ako ng pag-charge in an hour. Ganun siya katagal if we were to compare it to other flagship devices. So, more or less, 2 hours yung kailangan mo bago mo ma-fully charge itong Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Now, for the cameras, we have 12 megapixels f1.8 aperture for the main camera and 12 megapixels f2.2 aperture for the ultra-wide camera. For the main camera, guys, by the way, meron siyang dual pixel autofocus and optical image stabilization. Although, itong Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, guys, is a flagship device, but since medyo maliit nga yung kanyang form factor, medyo nahirapan natin yung Samsung to add more cameras to it, kaya wala tayong telephoto camera or even a macro lens. Para sa akin, guys, yung main camera niya, it takes great photos, lalo na during daytime. Also, guys, yung ultra-wide camera niya, it is also consistent with its main camera. So, wala rin ako naging problema. Then, for the selfie camera, guys, the only problem that I see here is kailangan mo pang stretch out ng konti yung kamay mo para lumayo. Siyempre, yung phone, since masyado nga talaga siyang malapit. Well, you have an option naman, guys, para maging wide yung ating front camera. But still, wala nga auto-focus yung ating front camera dito sa Z Flip. It is not as sharp as you expect it to be for its price. Mary, it is worth 79,990 pesos. 
should we really get one? Unahin natin yung mga nagustuhan ko sa kanya tapos tsaka tayo mag-proceed doon sa mga hindi ko naman masyadong nagustuhan. Unang-una, yes, specifications are okay. They are quite impressive. And the performance, hindi naman niya ako din sa point. Pang flagship pa rin kahit pa paano. Then yung kanyang One UI 2.1. Dito naman tayo sa mas practical na hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan sa Z Flip. This phone guys, medyo, or hindi naman medyo, pero sobrang delicate talaga niya. During the first 2 to 3 weeks na ginagamit ko to, sobra, or hindi man sobra, pero marami na akong na-accumulate na scratch sa screen niya. I know guys, baka sabihin nyo, eh sinasara mo naman niya pag nilalagay mo sa bag eh. Every time na bubuksan ko siya or tatama yung kuku ko na hindi ko naman napapansin, talagang gagasgas siya. And hindi ko nga alam guys na paano pag bumaksak yung Z Flip, mabubuhay pa kaya. Although we have warranty naman, you'll never know guys kung cover ba siya or hindi eh. When I bought the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, Dalawa yung binili ko. One for me and one for my sister kasi nagpasabay siya ng bilhe. To see na same lang talaga yung tagal ng phone sa amin. And halos parehas lang din naman kaming gumamit. Sakto lang, hindi sobrang ingat, hindi rin naman sobrang burara. Apparently guys, yung kanyang Z Flip, it's already broken. Well, huwag kayo mag-alala, gumagana pa naman. Pero may mga parts na hindi na gumagana according to her. So yes, if durability is your concern, it's the biggest issue of this device. But I think guys, malapit na talaga, malapit na malapit ng ma-perfect ng Samsung yung paggawa nila ng mga folding phones. They are going to the right direction wherein siguro yung next Samsung Galaxy Z Flip na pa-clumshell pa rin sana will have a better screen or to be specific, mas Matibay. But anyway, that is it guys for our full review or yung final thoughts ko for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. I think this will be the last video na makikita nyo siya. So that is it for our full review of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. Gagawa ko ng maraming full review sa mga devices na meron ako ngayon dito. So abangan nyo guys. Again, it's your Tech Girl Mary and see you on my next video. Bye!